Rhonda Fleming, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood cinema, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry through her captivating performances. Her on-screen charisma and talent resonated with audiences, earning her a lasting place in the hearts of many. While we may not all have personal stories of direct interaction, Fleming's impact transcends the screen, influencing admirers in various ways. Consider sharing your reflections on how Rhonda Fleming's work has inspired or left a lasting impression on your life. Classic Hollywood enthusiasts often find themselves drawn to her films, admiring the timeless quality she brought to her roles. Perhaps a particular character or storyline served as a source of inspiration, shaping perspectives, and sparking a deeper appreciation for the art of cinema. As we delve into the collective experiences tied to this iconic actress, we invite you to contribute your most cherished memories or personal anecdotes in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the appreciation of Rhonda Fleming's legacy, creating a community of shared admiration for her contributions to the silver screen. So, what's your story? Share your memories and reflections on Rhonda Fleming's impact on your life and classic Hollywood experiences. We would love to hear from you in the comments below. Rhonda Fleming, a notable actress, achieved recognition not only for her on-screen talent, but also for intriguing decisions in her career. One such instance was turning down Yul Brynner's offer to play the role of Anna in The King and I for a year in The Road Company. This decision, reflecting her selective approach to roles, showcased Fleming's commitment to choosing projects that resonated with her artistic sensibilities. In addition to her acting prowess, Fleming shared a lesser-known facet of her life. Alongside Jean Russell, Connie Haynes, and Beryl Davis, she was part of a gospel quartet at their church named The Four Girls. Their album, Make a Joyful Noise, not only demonstrated her versatility, but also sold over a million copies, highlighting the multifaceted nature of her talents beyond the silver screen. Recognition for her contributions to the entertainment industry was further solidified when Fleming was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6660 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on February 8, 1960. This acknowledgement underscored her enduring impact and legacy in the world of cinema. Rhonda Fleming's journey, marked by noteworthy career choices and diverse talents, remains an intriguing chapter in the annals of Hollywood history. Her ability to navigate both the real and real aspects of life, from rejecting iconic roles to making a meaningful impact in the world of gospel music, paints a compelling picture of a woman who defied conventional expectations in the pursuit of her passions. Discovered by talent agent Henry Wilson, while still a student at Beverly Hills High School, Rhonda Fleming's journey into Hollywood began at a young age. Her early exposure to the industry didn't immediately lead to success, as she faced a setback at 15, losing out in a final audition for a show produced by Hollywood heavyweight Jesse Lasky. Despite this initial disappointment, Fleming persisted in her pursuit. Beyond acting, Fleming revealed another dimension to her talent. A lyric soprano, she dedicated 10 years of her childhood to lessons in light opera, honing her vocal skills under the guidance of a supportive aunt. Singing contests became a part of her journey, showcasing her versatility beyond the screen. In an interview featured in Films of the Golden Age, Fleming shared this early Hollywood experience, shedding light on the challenges she faced in the competitive industry. This resilience and determination laid the foundation for her later success. From overcoming setbacks to cultivating her singing prowess, Rhonda Fleming's early years were marked by a tenacity that would shape her future in the entertainment world. The discovery by Henry Wilson, the singing lessons, and the audition for Jesse Lasky were pivotal moments that set the stage for an illustrious career that would span film and music, making Rhonda Fleming a noteworthy figure in the annals of Hollywood history. Establishing herself as more than just a Hollywood actress, Rhonda Fleming made significant contributions beyond the silver screen. In 1993, she took a notable step by founding the Rhonda Fleming Mann Clinic for Women Comprehensive Care at the UCLA Medical Center. This clinic stood as a testament to her commitment to women's health, leaving a lasting impact on medical care. In addition to her cinematic achievements, Fleming's talents extended to the realm of music. She showcased her singing prowess in various settings, from the Las Vegas showroom at the Tropicana to a memorable one-woman concert at the Hollywood Bowl, where she performed songs by Cole Porter and Irving Berlin. Her versatility shone through in a 10-week tour with Skitch Henderson, dedicated to the music of George Gershwin. Notably, she recorded an album in 1958 for Columbia Records, further highlighting her multifaceted artistic abilities. 
Adding to her list of accolades, Rhonda Fleming was honored with a Golden Palm Star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars in Palm Springs, California on December 9, 2007. This recognition underscored the lasting impact she had not only in Hollywood, but also in the broader entertainment landscape. Rhonda Fleming's journey, marked by diverse accomplishments, reveals a woman whose influence extended far beyond the screen. From her contributions to women's health care to her musical endeavors, she left an indelible mark on multiple facets of the entertainment industry. A standout in the realm of Technicolor cinema, Rhonda Fleming earned her place as one of the queens of Technicolor, alongside Maria Montez, Maureen O'Hara, and Yvonne DiCarlo. Her vibrant performances on screen, accentuated by the vivid hues of Technicolor, marked her as a notable figure in Hollywood's golden era. Initially signed by 20th Century Fox as Marilyn Lane, her professional moniker underwent a change to Rhonda, a suggestion that came from none other than David O. Selznick. This shift paved the way for a career that would see Fleming leave an indelible mark, not only in acting, but also in other diverse fields. A devoted member of the Westwood Presbyterian Church, Fleming's commitment to her community and values was recognized when she received the Women's International Center Living Legacy Award in 1995. This honor showcased her impact beyond the entertainment industry, reflecting her dedication to causes close to her heart. From the Technicolor allure to her name change under Selznick's guidance, Rhonda Fleming's journey resonates with a depth that goes beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Her multifaceted contributions, both on and off the screen, make her a noteworthy figure, leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of entertainment history. As the curtain falls on this tribute to a luminary of the silver screen, we invite you, dear reader, to embark on a personal odyssey through the cinematic realms illuminated by the unparalleled talents of the actress we've celebrated here. Reflect, if you will, on the indelible mark left by her performances etched into the tapestry of entertainment history. In the hallowed halls of cinematic memory, each frame adorned with the grace and prowess of this cinematic titan becomes a testament to the artistry that transcends time. Now, as the screen fades to black, we beckon you to share your cherished recollections and musings, weaving your narrative into the rich fabric of collective admiration for the luminous talent that once graced the celluloid. Your thoughts, like whispers in the cinematic breeze, carry the resonance of shared appreciation. Allow your voice to resonate in this symphony of remembrance as we collectively celebrate the legacy of an actress whose impact reverberates far beyond the screen. Through your reflections, the spirit of her artistry lives on, a timeless tribute to the magic woven by the silver threads of storytelling. In closing, we extend our deepest gratitude for your time and engagement in this homage to a true icon of entertainment. Your presence in this shared moment of reflection adds another layer to the enduring tapestry of appreciation. Until our paths converge again in the realms of storytelling, may the echoes of Rhonda Fleming's brilliance continue to resonate in your cinematic heart.